G'day guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm just going to be showing you how I make a cube logo. So this is an illustrator. First thing I'm going to do is just get ourselves a hexagon shape and I'm going to snap it to this angle so there's the point at the top and the bottom. Next I'm going to draw a line between these points here and you'll see why in a second. Now, next what I'm going to do is just drag the points down into the center of the line just like here and now we're going to have basically a cube shape so as you can see this could already be some sort of logo um, but I'm just gonna make this smaller fill in each of these with the shape builder tool and then we're going to continue with the 3 by 3 so what I'm doing is just dragging each shape uh, outwards along these axes so we can continue the 3 by 3 shape and as you can see here we've made the top of the 3 by 3 Next, I'm going to just do the same thing with the edges and I'm going to drag these down and there's actually a bit of a shortcut if we do it on both sides, um, then it can just all be done in one move just like, well, just like this. So if I select all of these ones at the bottom, I can just drag them down and then the whole thing's done. And as you can see, we've already got our three by three shape. Next, I'm just going to color this in so you can see which all the pieces are and I'm going to fill in all of the colors because each of these are their individual shape. So I've got white at the top, red on the left, blue on the side, which is the correct color scheme. Uh, next I'm just going to bump up the line work a bit and I'm also going to give it a bit of an outline. So how I do this is get a hexagon shape and I'm just going to make sure it's the exact same size and then get rid of the fill and bump up the line work again here. And what we can do now is curve in the corners a little bit just to make it look a bit neater um, to give it a bit of a nice of a rounded shape. So we could just finish it here. I'm just going to change this blue because I think this one looks a bit nicer. Uh, and then we can, what we can do now is make these white if we want. Uh, there we go. So it looks pretty neat. I, I prefer the white because it makes it pop a little bit more, especially with the background. Uh, so I can just make a square like this and send that to the back. Um, so it's behind the whole shape. There we go. Now I can fiddle around with this a little bit. I'm just going to see what I can do. So maybe make this a bit darker. Um, maybe add a gradient, which might look a bit nicer. But I'm just going to change this white to a little bit darker so it makes it pop a little bit more against the line work. So here I'm doing just a bit of a gradient. Um, I'm going to make the colors just this blue and maybe the red. That doesn't look too nice. So I'm just going to change it um, maybe to a gray. Mm, maybe maybe a white uh, yeah the white looks a bit better I like that um, and also what we can do is make this radial so it kind of gives it a bit of a, a pop from the back uh, but there we go this could just be a simple logo you can use this if you want other than that uh, this has been just a really quick tutorial make sure to like and subscribe I'll see you in the next one cheers